Hey everyone, Mad Carver here with Shaft Tools, and in today's video, we're going to carve the letter R. The letter R is comprised of many shapes that are throughout the alphabet. So by cutting the letter R, we can learn a lot. So this particular R or this particular video will be an incised R. So we'll be cutting into the block and leaving the outside of the R flat. Let's get started. Here we have the accessories that I used to start all of my work. The metal stylus with the ballpoint, pencil, in this case we also have a ruler today, and we have our pattern. So this is just a capital letter R, like we talked about, and in all cases, I take the metal stylus and I outline all of the outside and the inside of the pattern. After that point, I go back in there into the grooves of the traced over pattern and I pencil it all in as I've done here. Okay, to carve an incised letter R, what we want to do is draw a line down the center of all areas of the R. And in an effort to get that just as right as we can, I'm putting some dots into the center of the R's areas, just so that I can try to get that right as best I can. It's about center, about center, about center. And now what I'd like to do is go ahead and try to get a line in there. We're going to draw this line, but we're going to keep it away from the edges because there's another thing that we want to do with that. Okay, so now we have these ends to work on. What we want is approximately 45 degrees from each of these corners into the center. So if we start up here at the top, we basically try to have it even on this side and on this side when we cut this in. So we're gonna draw it to about there. That's approximately correct. And then we will just fill that in here as well. And then we'll just meet that line up. And then over here, slightly different, we'll get that angle in there. And this one is long, so it'll be slightly different. Like that. Let's start with a few stop cuts. We're going to use our skew. This is a 1S 8 millimeter. And we're going to go along these lines in the center that we created. Let's start with those. Right on the line, in this case, because this will be deeper as we cut into this line from both sides. If you're not directly on your line, you should be okay. 
we're just going to try to aim for this line as we cut from the sides. I'm using the bottom of the skew chisel so that I can see it as I cut. Now we're going to cut these end and corner areas and we're going to use our number one straight dual beveled chisel to do that. Let's start with this one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the corner of this straight and put it right there where the line is and we're going to cut a little deeper and then roll it right up to the top. We're going to leave it just a little bit from the edge. Then we're going to turn it and do the same for here, the opposite side. And then we'll do that up here, same, from inside to out. And we know the depth of this area will go down into this stop cut. So it being deeper right here is good. Now we're going to begin cutting the incised R. So I'm going to turn the block so that I can get my straight chisel right up against that stop cut there and start cutting in. Only going to do this so that I can get the initial cut in the right area. Alternatively, you can use a V parting tool, in this case a number 12 6 millimeter, to cut along all of the stop cuts that you put in initially in the center of your letter in all spots. So I'll do that. You're going to want to stop your cuts. before you hit the very end. This removes a lot of what you would normally have to slice off with your straight chisel. Now we're going to go back to our dual edged straight chisel and we're going to start cutting 
to get closer to this line, keeping it at approximately 45 degrees and going into the center all along our edges. We'll use the flat in all the straight areas and we'll start to use a gouge in the rounded areas. we're going to choose our gouge and we're going to do this rounded section here we're going to go around the inside now Now I'm going to use the skew chisel to clean up these ends and the center area. You can make slicing motions to remove the debris right in the corner. At this point, what we want to do is clean up these ends and get them formed. Just remove a little bit at a time. Got to be careful not to let it chip away on you. Okay, here we have the letter R incised or inverted relief.